<clears throat> Greetings, August 30th, 2015, when uh, occasionally I get asked uh, why 24 years non-stop on Holocaust start making and or it's 11 years now on uh, companion series Sightseeing the Dignity of Victims of uh, both pre- and post-World War II human rights atrocities, race hate attacks, war, genocide, government repression and so on. And in my most recent PowerPoints, like I presented uh, in England and Scotland this past winter, I've been showing about six, seven, eight uh, photos of uh, people, uh, including my mother's grandmother and all the others, uh, contemporary victims of war, hate crimes, um, the American genocide, which is gun violence, um, especially children and uh, teens, um, the unrecognized uh, genocide except by a small number of the public. But this is one uh, photograph in particular that, uh, in regard to the Holocaust, that uh, um, is a uh, great example as far as I'm concerned. The child whose gender is unclear, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, is smiling. I uh, saw the photograph on the website of the uh, United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in D.C. This was back in the, probably around 1996 or so, ordered a print of it. The child uh, was in the Nazi-established ghetto, which were like concentration camps in the city of Kielce in southwest Poland holding a, looks like a metal cup. I can't tell what this is. Uh, kind of almost looks like a book with this kind of blanket almost wrapped around like a serape. What most astonished me, aside from the smile and the clear eyes, is the uh, scarf, which uh, is made out of, looks like twine, which I have called uh, child with bird's nest scarf. So uh, I did the drawing almost uh, about, about three quarters towards life size in the uh, largest work in the series. This is not going to do this justice. The, uh, this photograph is smaller than my hand. The original artwork is uh, four by eight feet plus the framing depicts about 28 or 29 people, a comparable number of bird's wings plus some other imagery. Uh, it's called Show of Dreams, Under the Wings number 42. There is a video up, I'll attach the URL, uh, of VHS camcorder footage I took when I was drawing the wings at the Burke Museum's uh, Ornithology Lab. So here is the uh, depiction of the child with birds in a scarf. Here's a uh, photograph of it. I added a uh, little artistic license. I put in kind of a portion of a Star of David on the uh, on the blanket there, as seen here. For the wing, I had, uh, around the time I was working this, I had found a dead uh, pigeon uh, on Alaskan Way on the waterfront in Seattle, and uh, I must have brought it up to the Burke, and uh, they kept the wings and I assume I don't have it uh, the tail which I used to erroneously call like a uh, a tail wing but a tail is just a tail on a bird and it was shaped follow the direction of my finger here like a fan but for, again for compositional reasons what we used to call asymmetrical balance in uh, art school they probably still do that I didn't draw the whole thing I left one section out also symbolic, a life incomplete, both with the uh, poor pigeon that who knows how it died, and uh, the child murdered by the Nazis. So the uh, first deportees in the ghettos were uh, children, the infirm, sick, and the elderly, so the child would have been gassed at whatever uh, death camp the uh, prisoners from uh, Kilsey's ghetto were sent to. There you have it. over here for a sec.